أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Brothers and sisters We begin today with the dua اللهم إنا أسألك علما نافعا ورزقا طيبا وعملا متقبلا O Allah, I ask you for knowledge that is beneficial I ask you for provision that is good and pure, and I ask you for deeds that are accepted. As we complete the 17th day of Ramadan in this year, 1441, we continue Ramadan reminders with the tafsir of Surat al kawthar here at the Devi Islamic Association. And as such, we will be discussing this Makkan Surah, chapter 108, the chapter of abundance. And now we will do the dua for the middle 10 days of the month of Ramadan, the dua for forgiveness. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Astaghfirullahir Rabbi min kulli dhambi wa tubu ilay. I ask forgiveness of my sins from Allah, who is my Lord, and I turn towards Him. It is narrated by Anas ibn Malik, who said, The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was dozing while some of the Sahabas were nearby. And then he raised his head and smiled. And he said, Verily, a surah has been revealed to me. And he recited the shortest surah in the entire Quran. This one, the one we are doing today. He then asked them, Do you know what al kawthar is? And as usual, the Sahabas had a beautiful reply. Allah and His Messenger alone knows what it is. So Allah begins the surah as follows: Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Inna a'tayna kal kawthar. Inna certainly, surely, we have given you al kawthar. So Allah is speaking about it. What is al kawthar It carries two meanings. The first one, it is all the blessings that Allah has given to the Prophet, such as Nabuwat, prophethood, the Holy Quran, the right of intercession on the Day of Judgment. What else is al kawthar it is considered to be a flowing river in paradise, which does not flow along a normal channel, but instead its banks are domes of pool and it has a strong smelling musk, and its pebbles were pearls whose colour is whiter than milk, and whose taste is sweeter than honey. Upon it are birds whose necks are like those of camels. Since we have given you al kawthar blessings in this world and the river of blessings in the hereafter, Allah commands us now, Fasolli li rabbika wan her. Fa, so, solli, pray, li rabbika to your Lord, wan her, and naher. The word means sacrifice. Sacrifice only in his name. Unlike the Makans at that time who slaughtered in the name of many other gods. This is a key factor for halal slaughtering. And Allah concludes the surah as follows. Inna shani Indeed, your enemy is the one cut off. This surah was revealed about the antagonist to the Prophet and what they said at the time of the death of the Nabi's son al Qasim. It was an Arab conventional belief at that time that one's legacy was continued only through one's sons. Let's recall that in this period of Jahiliya, of ignorance, they had scant respect for daughters as they were the ones who would bury their daughters alive. That is why the antagonist chose this occasion 
to say that he was abatar, that Muhammad was cut off. As this lineage in terms of male heirs was non-existent for him. When in fact, Muhammad teachings have lived on and multiplied from a handful of followers at that point in time to over 1 billion Muslims now, while their lines have been long forgotten. But the Nabi and his children, that all his sons died in infancy, as Allah is the most wise. That may have avoided many issues of prophethood and leadership with hereditary. So the Surah speaks about the abundance of blessings in both worlds via Al Kawthar. So Allah commands to pray and sacrifice only for Him. And if you do not, then you will be cut off. Tomorrow, inshallah, as we continue Ramadan reminders, we shall be going on to Surah Al Kafir. Chapter 109. And now we will end with the dua. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Rabbana takabbal minna inna ka anta sami Our Lord, accept this service from us. Indeed, you are the hearer, the knower. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.